Lord God, I pray you would bless this devotional, Lord. People have often asked me, how can you be so sure that you're going to heaven? And Lord God, I pray that this devotional will display that. I pray also it would be an encouragement to believe his Lord, to know that there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. And Lord, if there are any are not saved that, and they think they might be saved, Lord, that they can test themselves by your spirit. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Welcome, everybody, to our prayer journey. Today's This Daily Devotional is a very important devotional. And I say that about many of the devotions, but this even especially more so. More so because there are Christians that doubt their salvation, and I want to assure them that they do have salvation. And if they don't, that is greatly important because then you can have God's spirit test with your spirit to see if you're a child of God, and then you can come to a saving knowledge of him, which I will give at the end. So let's go through the verses. I'm going to do something a little different here because it addresses the situation a lot better. This is Romans chapter 8, and I am going to go in reverse order, going back, uh, backwards instead of forwards with the reading. All right, so let me start with this. How does a person know that he is a child of God? And here is the answer to that. When you accepted Jesus Christ, it says here in verse 16, the Spirit itself bear it witness with our spirit that we are children of God. So that's how we know. Uh, God's Spirit and our spirit tell us we're a child of God or not. Now, it is based on the Word of God, but it's the assurance you have when you trust in God. You know, I, my brother one time was asking me a question about investing in silver. And I said to him, you know, if you're going to invest in silver, keep that for an assurance of if anything goes bad. Insurance is something different. Insurance is, you know, something that you're insuring yourself for. We have an assurance in Jesus Christ that we're saved when his spirit bears with our spirit. For it says here now going back, verse 15. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but we have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father, Daddy, God. Is that what happens to you? When you got saved, do you know he's my father? I can come to him and pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. For, in verse 14, as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are children of God. Are you being led by the Spirit of God? Or are you going by this verse here in verse 13? For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. If you got saved, truly saved, and the Spirit of God is working in you, you're going to mortify the deeds of the flesh. Have you moved forward? Have you changed? Has things greatly changed in your life? If it is, you have an assurance that you're a child of God. If it didn't, perhaps it's the time to check in to God. Check in to his word. Check in the description here where it'll tell you how you can know for sure that you're a child of God. So let me go back now to the first two verses of chapter 8. If you're a Christian and you know you're a Christian, you got to remember this. There's a man I know, there's a wonderful man, and he struggles with this all the time. He thinks God can't use him because he sins once in a while. And yet, God wants to use you. I mean, David, look at the sins that man did, and yet he's a man after God's own heart. Yes, you should be correcting your sins. You should be checking them. But here's what it says if you're saved. There is therefore now no condemnation with them which are in Jesus Christ, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. If you're not walking in the flesh, you're a child of God. Yes, you're going to stumble. We all stumble. But you know you're a child of God. You get convicted from it, not condemned. No condemnation. Convicted. God will convict you. He'll give you a spanking. He'll point you in the right direction. For the law of the spirit of life is Christ Jesus had made us free from the law of sin and death. 
Do you feel that freedom? Are you free? If you're free, you're saved. If you're not free, if you don't feel that there, then you better check with the word of God. Have, as I read here in verse 8, 16, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Are you a child of God? Check that out with Jesus. Check that out with God the Father. And after you pray, what I have in the description here, how to get saved. If you feel that sin relief and really gave your heart to God, he is going to talk to your heart and you're going to be able to say, Abba, Father. And if that happens to you, put it in the, in the comment sections. I'd like to know. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.